What's up, y'all? My name is Arnold, and I recently graduated Yale with a degree in theater studies and political science. And in this episode, I'm going to be talking about how student government played a role in my college application process. I'll be giving some quick thoughts on how pursuing it in high school helped me get into the Ivy League. Also, whether or not you need to or should pursue these activities in order to get into your dream school. So from an extracurricular perspective, I pursued student government in two ways at my school. So there are really two student government programs at my school. The first one was called School Governance Council, and the second one were the class officers for the respective graduating years. The first one was called School Governance Council. And and in the school governance council, you would essentially elect two student representatives, two presidents, who would meet weekly with the adults, guidance counselors, supervisors, basically a lot of important decision makers for the school. And they were elected by and represented the whole entire school. So for me in my ninth grade, I actually started off first as a general member. So I would just go to the meetings and just like attend and watch and observe. And then my sophomore year, I took a break from it completely. And then I was elected as student representative both my junior year and my senior year. Here are some of the things I did during my time at the school governance council. I wrote down how I was the first junior elected by over 1,500 students students twice. I helped spearhead a peer mediation program, advocated for a rotary grant for a late bus system, and also helped revise the district improvement plan and also received some awards for it. So how exactly did this activity help me get into Yale? Well, for one, it showed consistent improvement. For example, even though I didn't do it my sophomore year, I started off as a general member my freshman year and then rose above the ranks and became president both my junior and senior year. So that showed how I was consistently involved, even if it wasn't for the full four years as president the whole entire four years. Because once again, you can't be president the full four years. Usually it's for a senior or a junior. The next thing it taught me was how to communicate and interact with adults. This is very important for your communication skills, for your reading skills, writing skills. And another thing I focused on was creating tangible change in my community. All of these different policies that I advocated for and helped create had a lasting impact on the students in my school. And I was really passionate about helping other people out. Now for the next activity, I was the class president for my graduating class. So as the senior class president, you're actually elected your junior year. And unlike the school governance council, you're only elected by your specific class, not the whole entire school. So essentially you work with a team of other people, such as your vice president, secretary, on all of the major school events, such as ring dance, prom, um, etc. So here's a little blurb on how I talked about it in my Common App. I wrote how I was elected by over 400 students and I organized and ran a bunch of events such as ring dance, the breakfast, prom, the flag ceremony, hosted the pep rally and created merchandise for the graduating class. And in terms of how it helped me get into Yale, well, it was a very reputable leadership position, but more importantly, once again, I was able to cause tangible change. There was a lot of event organization and planning. For example, we made the first um, senior junior field trip day, even though it's not super impressive or whatever, that was something that I was genuinely passionate about, which was making sure every Everybody had fun to boost the sense of camaraderie and school spirit. I also hosted events such as the pep rally, which connected a lot to my performance and theater studies background, which I ended up studying theater at Yale. So all in all, I carried a lot of responsibilities, created a lot of change, interacted with a bunch of adults and students. And for both of these student government activities, I genuinely felt happy and it was a fun time doing it. The next thing is that one of my Yale supplemental essays actually focused specifically on my school governance council experience. If you want to watch a video of me reading some of my supplemental Yale essays, click over here. But basically the gist of this essay was I went into detail on how I was able to help spearhead and advocate for a late bus system at our school. My school was underfunded and we live in a lower socioeconomic district, so we don't have that many resources. And since a lot of the students are, for lack of a better word, poor like me, generally speaking, they didn't have a reliable way of heading back home after after school activities, extracurriculars, staying back a bit for office hours or homework help. And the late bus system was a practical solution to allow students to take advantage of the opportunities that the school had after school hours. So should you do student government? In general, I would say that it's really great to keep an open mind to any activity, especially if you're young and during your freshman year, but really, for example, you could do what I did, which was just attend meetings first as a freshman and then eventually run to become president in your junior or senior years. And once again, this differs from school to school. And like everything else, and I say this a lot on the channel, don't do something just for the sake of doing it. Do it if it genuinely makes you happy or excites you. Ultimately, you want to have activities that you care about. And personally, for me, I really cared about helping other people and using policy to create meaningful change. And in terms of how it connected to my experiences at Yale, well, I ended up joining the Yale College Council my freshman year, which was very similar to School Governors Council, where each residential college would elect two student representatives. And y'all pretty much do a bunch of event organization for a lot of the activities on campus. I also joined as a committee chair for Yale's Model United Nations. And lastly, I ended up majoring in political science. So there definitely is a bunch of overlap between my college activities and academic interests as well as my high school ones but I wouldn't have figured it out if I didn't just try it out first my freshman year so if anything just you know be open to experiences try it out even if you just want to audit an activity or a class because in order to figure out what you're excited about you have to try a bunch of different things but that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one